Contrary to popular belief, men have wants, needs, and desires just like women. But unfortunately, they're not always the best at expressing those things. So in today's video, we're going to talk about seven things that a man may want, but they don't ask for. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. But let's get right into this list. The first thing that a man may want, but he doesn't ask for is more sex. I had to start off with a bang. I mean, I couldn't start low. We had to start high. I don't know any man, whether that is my friends, my family members, co-workers that have expressed to me that they want less sex. It just doesn't happen unless they have an extremely low sex drive or they have some type of medical condition or some underlying condition. They want sex and they typically want sex as often as possible. But here's the kicker. So if you are a woman watching this, sis, Take your notes. <laughs> but if you are a man, if I am wrong, or if there's some additional things that you want to express, make sure to put it in the comments because y'all know I love chatting with y'all in the comment section. Let's talk about it. Back to my point, I don't know any man who wants less sex. And the other thing that I have seen and heard men say countless times, whether that was previous clients, friends of mine, whoever, they want women to initiate more. Don't shoot the messenger. Please know that men want to be wanted and needed and all of those things too. So it isn't just you waiting to initiate sexual intimacy with him. Sometimes he wants you to initiate too. So if you feeling horny, if you, you know, are revving up, it's that time, you know, of the month where you're ovulating, you know how we get ladies and we get a little turned up instead of just sitting there waiting. Oh, okay, well maybe he, he's gonna want to initiate sex tonight. You initiate. <laughs> You start, <laughs> you send the text message, you take the driver's seat, okay? Because you will shock him, but also too, that's how you keep your relationship spicy. The second thing that a man wants, but they don't technically ask for, is genuine appreciation. I don't know any man who doesn't want a woman to be thankful and appreciative of the efforts that they have put into, whether it's something small, like bringing you lunch, or whether it's something big like him giving you money or paying your rent. Don't take the things that he does for granted, whether that's planning a date, giving you a simple compliment saying, hey, you look beautiful today, babe, or I like your hair like that, or that dress you got on is amazing, or simply just being there. Sometimes women, we be yapping and talking and we gotta vent and get some things off of our chest. And if they don't say anything, but they're sitting there and giving a listening ear, that should be appreciated too. So go out of your way to appreciate your man. Do what needs to be done because what you won't do, another woman will. Boop. The third thing that a man want, but they don't ask for, is emotional support. Sometimes we forget that men have emotions too. I know as women, we are way more emotional and men are a bit more physical, but they want and need that emotional support just like we want and need that emotional support. So be there for them through the tough times when they're having a hard day, when someone passes away, when they don't know what to do, they're having a job shift or a job loss or whatever is happening, medical issues, the world is just team too much. Be there. Don't be the person that they have to avoid and stay away from because you wouldn't understand or you're going to be critical of them. Be that safe place. In my other videos, we talked about the woman being home and home isn't necessarily a location, but it is a safe space where he can come to and run to from the rest of the world. The fourth thing that a man wants, but he doesn't necessarily ask for is respecting his personal space. Now I know as women sometimes, I don't know if you guys seen on social media, there was this thing going around for a while where women would be like, I just wanna be in my man's skin. Like I just wanna be up under him and in his skin, you know? And this woman, she literally went under her partner's shirt and they were in the same shirt together. Like it was just hilarious. But that's a real life representation of how we feel sometimes as women. Yes, we wanna be close. Yes, we wanna touch. Yes, we want to hold hands. Yes, we want to be close in proximity, but sometimes we need space. Just like you want space, he also needs space. So maybe he doesn't want to be touched in the moment. Maybe he don't want to cuddle with you at the time. Maybe he wants to go into the other room and watch a ball game. Maybe he wants to have some alone time that does not include you and your kids, if you have any. So just know that you need to respect his occasional solitude and it isn't a representation that something is wrong in the relationship. The fifth thing that a man wants, but he won't ask for, is affection. 
I don't care what nobody says. Men like affection too. We talked about them being very physical beings. So yeah, they want to be touchy and lovey and rubbing and caressing and all of the things. But men want that too. In fact, most of them don't get that regularly. So, and I'm talking about beyond just a hug, but when was the last time instead of you laying on your man, he laid on you and you held him, not in some weird cradle baby position, but him laying his head on you and y'all resting on the couch and you rubbing his head or whatever, like the, the one at the, this one, not, not the other one, cause y'all, y'all be nasty. Just know that physical touch is important to him too. So you initiating holding hands and rubbing his back or rubbing his feet and doing something in that realm and that space, that personal touch is important. Before I move on to the sixth thing, I'm gonna link the video up here and put it in the description where I talk about the different levels of intimacy. Some of y'all get sexual intimacy and physical intimacy confused when those two things are very different. The sixth thing that a man wants, but he doesn't ask for is encouragement and reassurance. Now this kind of goes back a little bit to the point that I made before, but also this is a separate category because it requires you to let your man know that he got this. You're reassuring him. You're letting him know that even through the hard times, the difficult choices that he has to make, that he's capable of making good choices and he's done good things in the past and he can do good things moving forward. So when he has that self doubt and he's uncertain, he needs you to be that sounding board and say, babe, don't trip. You're that man. You're that person. You got this. You've done it before. I'm so proud of you. You can do this. I'm here for you. If you need my help, I'm present. Those are things that men want to hear because I don't think that they necessarily get that in other areas and other aspects of their relationships. The seventh and last thing before I give my final thoughts that a man wants, but he doesn't technically ask for is shared interest or responsibility. Isn't it so dope when you and your partner are on the same page, when y'all both like a particular thing, when y'all both like a particular food, when y'all both like a particular fill in the blank, it just makes life easier. I'm not saying you gotta go and change your wants, needs, desires, and goals to fit his or the other way around. But what I am saying is to find common interests and engage in those things. If y'all both like golf, go golfing together. Talk about golf, talk about Tiger Woods, whatever y'all want to do. But those things, make sure that you are on one accord and that you guys have shared interests. I think it's important to have things separate from your partner, right? Like you should do things on your own too. But also when you and your partner can vibe out and be on the same page about things, that's super dope. And I'm not necessarily even just talking about interest, but that also includes responsibility. If you live with your partner, cause this isn't just about marriage, but dating or long-term relationships, Sometimes those responsibilities around the house, knowing we got, <laughs> and we're on the same page about a thing is important. Knowing, hey, I'm gonna wash the dishes tonight, but I'm cooking, or I'm a cook and you wash the dishes, you know, and being on the same page about those things, or you know what, I got rent this time, but next month I know things are gonna be a little short, so I might need you to kick in. Those things are important and just reassessing your relationship as needed. Don't think just because it's been one way, it's always going to be that way. Things change because life changes. My last and final thoughts on this is that men, one, need to get better at expressing themselves. I really want, if there's any men listening to me, for you to use your words. <laughs> like women are not mind readers, right? Like we don't necessarily know what's going on. We can give an educated guess, we can make observations, but sometimes we just need for you to say the word. And just because you have to say what you need doesn't mean that I don't know you, or it doesn't mean that our relationship is in a tough space. It just means we're good communicators. Communication is two way. That's why I teach you guys effective two way communication. It goes both ways. So be better with expressing your word. But also women, be better with expressing the things that I mentioned here. Obviously I could have added a million and one more things, but just make sure that you're loving on your guy. You're showing him that you appreciate him, that you care about him, that you want him sexually too, that you respect him, that you enjoy his company because those things matter in the long run. You don't want something like this to be the downfall of your relationship and you be in couples therapy talking about some, yeah, you know, I think our relationship could have went the distance if she would have paid more attention to me. <laughs> you don't want that type of thing. So this needs to go both ways. As I always say, both ends. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Be blessed. Bye.